Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Most refrigerator repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, you should unplug the power cord. To replace any of the door handles on the appliance, use a 332nd inch Allen wrench to loosen the four set screws securing the handle. With the screws loosened, you can lift the handle off of the mounting studs. When reinstalling or replacing a refrigerator door handle, align it on the mounting studs with the set screws facing inward. The freezer drawer handle should be aligned on the studs with the set screws facing downward. Tighten the set screws to secure. To uninstall the dispenser control assembly, use a Phillips head screwdriver or a number two square drive bit to unthread the mounting screws. Detach the assembly. Note the location of the wire connectors, then disconnect them. If you need to replace the dispenser module, first unthread the screws securing the module. Release the water tube from the retaining clips and the guide holes, and you can remove the module. Use a small flathead screwdriver to release the actuator mounting tab and pull the actuator free. Prepare the new dispenser module for installation by inserting the actuator mounting tab into the chute assembly until it snaps into place. Now insert the water tube through the guide holes, then secure the tube in the retaining clips. Fully position the module, then thread and tighten the screws to secure. Reconnect the wires to the appropriate terminals on the dispenser control assembly. Realign the upper edge of the assembly under the door panel. Position the assembly and secure it with the screws. To remove a refrigerator door, use a quarter-inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the appropriate hinge cover. Lift off the cover. To fully remove the left side door, use a small wrench to depress the locking ring to release the white water dispenser tube from the coupler. Unthread the screw to release the tube retainer. Slide off the retainer. Detach the tube cover as well. Pull the water supply tube out of the channel. Disconnect the wire connector and unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Support the door and use a 3 8 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the hinge plate. Unhook the wires from the retaining clip 
and detach the hinge plate. You can now lift the door off of the lower hinge cam. Before you reinstall the door, you may want to rotate the adjuster to lower the cam to the lowest position to allow the ice chute in the door to clear the ice bucket when repositioning the left side door. Now align the door on the lower hinge cam. Support the door as you realign the hinge plate and secure it with the screws. Connect the wire connector and secure the grounding wire with the screw. Make sure the wires are secured under the retaining clip. If applicable, feed the water supply tube through the channel. Replace the hinge cover. and secure it with the screws. The longer screw goes in the rear. Fully insert the water supply tube in the coupler if required. Align the tubes in the retainer and secure the retainer to the rear panel with the screw. Replace the tube cover and rethread the screw to secure. You can now rotate the lower cam adjuster to fully level the door. To access components in the freezer compartment, open the freezer drawer and use a 3 8 inch socket to unthread the screws, securing the front drawer panel to the drawer rails. Set the front drawer panel aside. Lift out the ice bucket and basket. Release the retaining clips and you can slide out the basket frame. Pull out the drawer retaining clips and you can lift out the drawer assembly. To uninstall the ice maker, use a Phillips set screwdriver or a number two square drive bit to unthread the three screws securing the evaporator fan cover. Pull the cover off and disconnect the ice maker wire connector. Now unthread the front screw securing the ice maker to the liner. With the screw removed, you can pull the ice maker forward to detach the assembly. Reinstall or replace the ice maker assembly by aligning the bracket on the mounting studs and pushing back. Replace the front screw to secure. Connect the wire connector. Replace the evaporator fan cover and secure it with the screws. With the slide rails pulled out, set the drawer assembly on the rails and insert the retaining clips to secure the drawer. Realign the basket frame on the support rails and push back until the frame snaps into place. Pull the frame forward and reposition the basket and ice bucket.
Reinstall the front drawer panel by hooking the mounting studs on the front of the drawer rails. Thread and tighten the screws to secure. To access components behind the refrigerator's rear access panel, you will need to shut off the water supply. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw, securing the water supply line retainer to the rear panel. Detach the water supply line from the inlet valve. Next, unthread the remaining screws, securing the rear access panel. Remove the panel to reach components like the water inlet valve, condenser fan motor, and the power cord connector. To make it easier to fully uninstall the power cord, you can move the compressor and inverter board out of the way. Pull off the three retaining pins and remove the washers. Now carefully lift up the compressor and inverter board and move them to the right. Next, unthread the screw securing the power cord retaining clip, as well as the screw securing the grounding wire. You can now disconnect the wire connector to fully remove the power cord. When installing a new power cord, Transfer the retaining clip from the old cord to the new one. Now connect the wire connector and secure the grounding wire to the refrigerator base with the screw. Thread and tighten the screw to secure the power cord retaining clip. Now reposition the compressor and inverter board. With the washers in place, secure the compressor with the three retaining pins. Complete the reassembly by repositioning the rear access panel and securing it with the screws. Reattach the water supply line to the inlet valve. Secure the line to the rear panel with the retainer. With the reassembly completed, turn the water supply back on. Plug the power cord in, and your refrigerator should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.